so beautiful. Mm. It's another beautiful day in paradise. Well, bad news, boys. They finally got me. I was out, was delivering Magic Jacks, and I pulled out at a stop sign, and whammy, whammy, she nailed me. And I don't have my driver's license, so we're gonna see how this goes. All right, sir, it's just gonna be a verbal warning. Make sure you Good. stop behind the stop sign, okay? Make a okay. complete stop. And make sure you have your driver's license with you. Just, yeah. you have to have that and it just makes everything easier, all right? Okay. okay. You have a good day. Thanks, you know, I think that's just a good reminder for us all. Just think about how far we truly are from following all the traffic laws. You know, I got pulled over for stopping too far in front of a stop sign. That's nothing. I mean, you just think about the whole litany of allegations that could come against me at any moment. I'm fucking blowing through stop signs. You're gonna get me for, I will heed that verbal warning. Full respect. She got one good look at pawn shop and she was, I could visit, she was visibly shaking. Just terrified. A little kitten in a tree. She have called the fire department. Hey, uh, sorry there, fire department. We got a kitten in a tree here trying to give me a ticket. <laughs> That's a verbal warning. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, I'm glad you guys are tuning in today because I'm going for the record. I'm going to beat Nick Jocelyn's record of $200. It was up at uh, 6.30 a.m. I've already made... Let's see, I've already made three deliveries and got pulled over and it's about 8 30. i'm on my way all the way across town got a 1395 that's a roger roger and i'm going for the fucking record so tell your friends tell everybody you know pawn shop's going for the record it's a sunday here we go folks let's go light them up i'm gonna get arrested today i'm gonna get arrested You probably already know we're going to Bozeman. We're doing dash camp in Bozeman. Uh, my buddy Badger is gonna show us around, show us the ropes. Uh, he was actually just down in Vegas tearing it up. I think he's loving it. Sounds like he's killing it down there. The cool thing about Las Vegas, there's nothing cool about Las Vegas. It's a fucking dirty trash heap. And I want to die. What's up, guys? Got some good news. Dirty kid just got pulled over. I uh, got a ticket dinged, burning through two stop signs. So, fucking stoked. Want to see how he responds. I want to see him get back out there, you know? Break even more laws if he has to. But just get better, be better, deliver more, make more money. Go, 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 go. Love it. Let's go, dirty kid. Here we go, dirty kid. Fire up, dirty kid. Atta boy, one, two. Hey, one, two. Touch up, touch up on that base, one, two. I'm in fifth gear, and I'm 35. That can't be right. Yeah, delivery from Howieville. I wanted to share with you guys, I uh, have here some slam poetry I've been writing while I drive. Fast car. Dashing, dashing through the day. Oh, how I hurt. Oh, the sky falling into my mind's eye. Last time I'll ever dash. Probably didn't know I was a poet. I write poetry. I'm a sensitive guy. I'm in the mall. I fucking hate this place. It smells like a goddamn whorehouse in here. Oh, it's Michaela. That was Michaela, <laughs> old chick from high school. We used to, we did all right. I am fucking, I am beat, man. 
It's only 2.30 p.m. I've been delivering since 6.30, and pretty much non-stop, and I'm at 100 bucks. So I'm halfway to my goal of $200, uh, which would be a world record, as you know. And man, I am just absolutely knackered. I'm headed back to the Cracker Barrel for my third delivery. Oftentimes, the hardest part of getting through the day is just not blowing your brains out when you come to the Cracker Barrel for an order. This is where I wait for my food. In this little corner of hell. This can't go on. I don't, I'm gonna be sick. How can you even have sex with your girlfriend after she eats at the Cracker Barrel? It's like fucking a biscuit. Oh, I don't even wanna fucking touch you. You're like so fucking sweaty. Just covered in salt. Fucking a pair of little kids' shoes. Santa Claus behind you. <laughs> Thinking about the food that's in between her teeth. Hamburger, steak, mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh no, it's all right, baby. Why don't you, uh, why don't you go rack out for a while? I'm gonna go work in the garage. totally forgot that I have a Yom Kippur dinner with my mother and my mother's sister, Naomi. Now, I'm pretty high, but I can't get out of this one. I gotta go. I currently sit at 135. Yom Kippur dinner should last it approximately an hour, depending on how well the matzo balls are cooked. Now, depending on the number of rituals, so fucking fried. Oh my god, I've been in that Cracker Barrel for an hour. Oh. <laughs> fuck, dude, that Yum Kapoor just went. Ugh, that was. Fuck, dude. Ugh, it's gonna be so close now. I'm gonna have to go to midnight. Let's go to midnight if I want this, dude. Fucking A. Holy shit. I, I, I wanted to quit so many times today. Just like, you made 100 bucks, you know? You put in eight hours. Okay, you put in 10. Okay, you put in 12 hours. Jesus, dude. This is tough. It's pitch black out now. I'm just ready to collapse, pretty much. But I'm going to keep going. Keep grinding. Keep grinding till you get that motherfucking record. Keep grinding. <laughs> 